Hello. I'm Mr. Griss. I'm making a video here about my town because a lot of people seem to like it. And I uh, figured I'd do a quick tour of my town. Uh, this is a game called Outlaws of the Old West. And I'm playing on Game Edge server. Uh, you have to be part of his community in order to play on the server. You have to be one of his Patreons. Uh, link in the description if you're interested. Anyway, moving on. Right back here is the prefab hotel that they have in the game. It's pretty nice. Uh, I mean, the prefabs are pretty limited. There are a lot of flash and not a whole lot of anything else. This is my latest creation. This is the saloon slash brothel. Um, it's not quite finished inside, so bear with me. Uh, this will be the saloon part. Obviously, I'm going to add a couple more tables, some more chairs. But I got the uh, bar area here. Oh, hey, yeah, that's right. I was going to add one more thing to this. I forgot. So we will do that now. I guess it has to be there. Anyway, and then I was going to put another couple of these down here just to make it look like there's a bar back there, but I haven't made them yet. Um, and these lights here light up the place pretty good. Make it all nice and homey. <laughs> uh, for a saloon. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, but anyway, this is the bar area. I'm going to make this into the kitchen area. It's just going to have a stove in it and be done. Nothing fancy there. Okay, got a craft to go upstairs because these stairs are weird. But uh, Upstairs we have the main floor of the hotel slash brothel, whatever you want to call it. This is the uh, biggest uh, suite, if you want to call it that. Um, I'm going to put a fireplace in here eventually. Probably some uh, small table and chairs or something. Obviously a door, um, but yeah, here's one of the smaller rooms. It's just gonna, obviously I'm gonna put a door and windows in and stuff. Yeah, this one's about the same. This one's about the same. I haven't quite got to this one yet. <laughs> then we go upstairs. Oh, still need to put a roof on that. <laughs> This is the roof. Oh yeah, and I have to move this out of the way so I can put a ceiling tile there. Same with this one over here. I just haven't got around to that yet. Yeah, this is the roof. Oh, uh, it's pretty nice. I like it a lot. And here's basically where I put all my prefabs kind of in the town area because that's where they go. All lined up. The bank and all that, I'm sure everybody's seen these already. I added uh, some decorative touches out front with the boardwalk here and whatnot. The stable. And the blacksmith. Right now it's glitching out. Uh, this is supposed to be inside. So, yeah, anyway. I'll put a box out here because I just come by and drop off all the bandit guns that I have and eventually. When this box gets full, I take them into, well, over there, whatever, and recycle them and get a bunch of mats for it. Here's my boardwalk. This is <laughs> my version of a bench, since they don't really have a bench in the game yet. It works okay. You can sit on it. Yeah, anyway. And then I got some telescopes set up here. I'm looking at my horses and, oh, bunny rabbit. Yeah, it doesn't paint very well, but that's the roof of my gazebo with my double fireplace. This is my main bridge of the town. It's 
I would say my main attraction point. Even uh, prettied up the mines a little bit. Here's the tier one mine, the donkey mine. Uh, made it look a little bit better, fit into the scenery better. Up there is my tier one or tier two mine. Uh, you want to make sure you space the mines apart because they get glitchy when you put them close together. And here's my solution that I'm working on for the railroad. Because you know how you can't get over it. You can't just walk over it. Well, now you can take a horse and a buggy and everything right over top of it. And not worry about it. And it looks kind of nice too. I'm going to change these out for like metal and stuff. I'm just using wood right now to get an idea of what I got to do. And obviously my train station. Uh, we'll circle back around to that. Show you this little stuff over here first. Uh, over here we got the start of where I'm going to build the farm. Right now I just got cows over there. And this is my bison farm. I'm going to eventually build a building over here so it you know, looks like you know, you're farming bison. But there's also a coyote stuck in there and there's a bear that runs around. Yeah, there he is. Every once in a while he gets stuck in there too, but yeah. And I have a boardwalk that goes all the way around the bend of the river. Uh, basically the same type of thing is over there. Only over here I use foundations all the way instead of ceiling tiles. Um, I don't know, I might change it later. But I made a little dock to go fishing on. I mean, granted, it's not much of a big river here, but... Yeah, the rest is just a walkway over to there. And we'll jump across the River and check out the gazebo. It took an incredibly long time to figure this out. But once I did, it was actually pretty simple. Uh, as you can see by the floor plan. And the double fireplace, I just kind of had the idea so I figured I'd try it out and it works great you can actually as you can see there in the middle they're kind of meshed together I think that kind of makes it look like it's supposed to be there I don't know looks good to me I'm probably going to add like a couple of chair benches in here uh, eventually but I'm kind of proud of this one <laughs> very nice I like it I'm probably going to use this double chimney thing in a future build I'm not sure what but and other than the main building, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, yeah, I got my firing range. This is pretty cool back here. Um, I just bought a bunch of targets. Uh, well, built a bunch of targets. Just to test them out and see what they were like. And uh, just give you a demonstration here. I can shoot straight. Maybe give you one second. There we go. Gives you a little poof every time you shoot it. Comes right back when it goes away. Anyway, that's the shooting range. I'll go into the main building here. This would be my house, I guess. Uh, it's more of like a workshop. But that's where my spawn point is, so... Well, I guess technically I got a bunch of them over there, but... Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, if you watched Game Edge's stream a couple weeks ago, uh, he and his crew game came down here and checked it out. But yeah. 
Nice little wood shop here. That's the main industry area down there. Uh, this is just a convenient place to put this. And then I came in and made like a little, uh, I don't know, sewing corner. I don't know what you call it, but there it is. And then I got a wrap, well it doesn't quite wrap around, it ends, uh, but I got a front and a back deck. Uh, this kind of wasn't cooperating, so that's what we got there. And this goes all the way around to the front. And it's just a regular old deck. And yeah, you can see the town pretty good from here, obviously. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, well, I suppose I can show you the roof real quick. And here's the roof. Nothing terribly special, I think. But, uh, it did take a little bit of figuring out to do. And it's more time than anything else. Well, I hope you like the tour. And let me know what you think. Have a good one.